Counselor R.G. Allen. What it means is first to have a purpose and then to have passion for whatever you're working towards. And then you must commit to being diligent and also commit to not quitting when it gets really, really hard. But at the end of the day, I heard this phrase and I really liked it. And what it said was, if it's your heart's work, then it's never hard work. It really is a spiritual walk. It's something that has been deposited in me way before I even came into this earth. Uh, and so when I think about those seeds that God has deposited in me, that then allows me to move forward knowing that the work that I'm doing is work that is to the glory of God's kingdom. And it's meant for healing purposes. It's not always how you begin the race, but how you end it. And just like any other process, any other goal, any other accomplishment, you've got to begin with an idea, and then you've got to commit to that idea. And then you've got to recognize that it may take many twists and turns before you actually get to the goal in mind. But the goal is not to quit while you're on that journey and to look at it from the perspective that you're learning while you're going and hopefully you're teaching and touching others while you're in that process. We ought to be the ones that are responsible to have your back. We're the ones responsible for teaching, guiding, and directing you and ultimately launching you into adulthood. So never forget that there should be mentorship, good teachership, good parentship, and if you don't have those things, then seek them out. And if you can't find them, do not give up. There are people out there that want to mentor young people. And there are also people out there that will traverse this journey, albeit how difficult it is, to the place that they help to usher you into your goals, to your accomplishments, and your achievements. So partner with those who've been there before and move in the direction of your purpose.